Hi there, I'm getting ready to make some homemade refried beans. And the first thing I'm gonna do is soak the beans overnight. You'll wanna add enough water so that there's at least a couple inches over the beans so that there's plenty to soak up. Then just cover and let sit overnight. It's about six o'clock right now, so I'll check it in the morning. Good morning, it's about 5.30 the next morning. And just checking on the beans. Looks like they plumped up pretty good. So we're just going to rinse them right now. And we just want to rinse them really good and kind of sort through them. Make sure there's no funny business in there. Okay, so they're all rinsed and they're ready to cook. And they looked pretty good. I didn't really have to pick anything out of this batch. If I didn't tell you before, this is a pound that I'm working with. I like to buy it in bulk. It's usually a lot cheaper that way. Now I transferred them to the crock pot. Now I'm adding water. You want to again cover it at least an inch or two so that it, it's got plenty of room to soak up. Okay, looking good. It's better to have too much water than not enough. Then you'll add a teaspoon of salt, add a half a teaspoon of cumin, and a pinch of black pepper. Now I'm adding half of an onion, just cut it in half and then I quartered it. Now I'm going to add a few cloves of garlic, I'm going to peel it first. Now I'm adding in the peeled garlic. Now I'll put the lid on and I'm going to get started on cooking. I'm going to do it for 8 hours on low. And then you'll just want to check back periodically to, to stir it up. There's a little trick to get that garlic smell off of your hands. If you wash your knife right after you cut the garlic, uh, something about touching the stainless steel part of the knife, it's like a chemical reaction and it makes the smell go away. Okay, it's about halfway through. It's been four hours. Just gonna stir it up. And then I'll check back in another four hours. Okay, I'm checking it. It's been about seven hours total, and it looks like it's done because the beans are like really soft and starting to fall apart. So it's done. See the texture? It's definitely done. So I let my beans cool off for a couple hours. I just went on about my day, and now I'm gonna put them in the food processor. And you want to add some of the bean water in there too so that it gets creamy. And then I poured it into an oiled pan. And since my food processor is kind of small, I'm going to do this in a few batches. My second batch. And here's the last of it. So it will just about fill my pan. Okay, now I'm going to add a few tablespoons of Better Than Bouillon chicken base. This stuff is really good. So I added two tablespoons of that. Now there's also a vegetable version if you're vegan or vegetarian and don't want to use the chicken base. The vegetable base is pretty good too. Then add a half a teaspoon of salt. This is sea salt. Uh, now you can add some more salt later. You just don't want to over salt it as you're cooking. Just kind of taste it as you go. Add a pinch or so of black pepper. I like the coarse grind. I'll probably do another pinch. This stuff's pretty good. Now I'm adding a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Then about a tablespoon of oil, vegetable oil, or you could use olive oil if you like. I turn the heat on medium high, and then you wanna mix it up really good. The chicken base is pretty thick, so you wanna make sure that it's really evenly blended and you just kind of wait until it starts to bubble and then you could turn it down low. Now it's starting to bubble up so I'm going to turn it down to like a medium low and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. You'll want to keep stirring it too so it doesn't stick. So I just tasted it and it tastes awesome. doesn't need any more salt but I'm going to add just a little bit more of this about a quarter of a teaspoon. Just needed the little extra cumin. Okay, they're all done. I took them off the heat and I let them sit for a little while and thicken up. These beans are the best. I eat them with everything. I make a batch like this about every week and a half to two weeks. 
and my favorite thing to eat with them is breakfast tacos so I will share that with you in the next couple of videos well thanks for watching I appreciate all the views please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next videos